Technology and the abundance of natural resources was the driving force behind the second industrial revolution in the United States. After the Civil War and Reconstruction, the American economy grew considerably as it entered the second industrial revolution, between 1870 and 1910. An abundance of natural resources from its newly acquired territories, a growing supply of labor immigrating from Europe, the migration of emancipated African Americans north and west, expanding market for manufactured goods, and the availability of capital for investment all fueled the revolution amongst all social classes and races. As we moved westward and amassed more acreage, we also took advantage of all those natural resources which we are able to process. Iron ore was used to create steel and pig iron, which was used for railroad ties, bridges, and buildings. Coal was incorporated with the invention of the steam engine, as coal replaced wood in fueling the steam engine and other machinery used in various industries, like the steel industry. The ability to use a steam engine for oil drilling started an oil boom in the United States, helping with the creation of a petroleum refining industry. This industry transformed in, into kerosene and later gasoline for the automobile. Lumber was also used to fuel the steam engines, mostly the ones that were used on trains, steamboats, and in the home. An industry for the new machines being invented that ran on steam was created, heavily affecting the economy and wealth at the time. Because of the transcontinental railroad, trade expanded, which connected the nation and allowed materials to travel east and west. The railroads brought goods from the farmers to the markets, as well as the natural resources to the refineries. In the early 1870s, railroad construction in the United States increased dramatically. Prior to 1871, approximately 45,000 miles of track had been laid, but between 1871 and 1900, another 170 miles were added to the nation's growing railroad system. By 1890, most of the nation's railroad system was in place, opening the way for West Settlement, providing economic opportunities, stimulating the development of communities, and, tr and tying the country together in general. Throughout the period of 1870 to 1910, there were many major inventions that led the shift from an agrarian to an industrial America. Some of the major inventors were Thomas Alva Edison, Alexander Graham Bell, Samuel B. Morse, and Sir Henry Bessemer, but they were not the only ones to invent some of the major improvements in America. Edison was known as the Wizard of Menlo Park. This is because he invented two of his most substantial works there, the incandescent light bulb, filament, and the phonograph. The incandescent light bulb was perfected by Edison in 1891, making it electric, so unlike other lamps at the time, it did not rely on open flames. This was one of the most dramatic improvements that occurred in the artificial lighting category. Additionally, the tinfoil phonograph was made by Edison in 1877. While he was developing his phone transmitter, Edison thought of making something that could record and play back phone messages and called it a tinfoil phonograph. Edison also created the electrical power distribution system in 1882. This system ultimately led to machines being run by electricity rather than water, steam, coal, and wood. The next inventor of the time was Bell, who invented the big box telephone. The telephone was invented in 1876 and was created to send multiple messages on one wire. Another huge development in communications was Samuel B. Morse's telegraph, and in order to get encoded messages through, he created the Morse code. This creation revolutionized long-distance communication and allowed for complex messages to be sent. Another great invention came from Isaac Singer, known as the sewing machine created in 1889. The specialized machines took place of manual labor tasks and made sewing more efficient. It also gave a further boost to the clothing industry. The typewriter, invented by E. Remington and Sons in 1873, was hugely popular and in demand for professional managers and clerical staff, leading to education being encouraged, ultimately causing growth of the middle class. This was created due to the development of corporations after the Civil War, leading to the creation of multiple layers of office management. Another invention that ran on energy was the metal windmill, invented by J.S. Risden in 1872, which were used to process grain and pump water, a huge leaf for farmers. The last inventor was George Westinghouse, who created air brakes in 1889 by using compressed air and therefore making brakes used in locomotives, large vehicles, and aircrafts more efficient. Although these inventions are all different, they depended on each other for success because they all cause for further research. These developments all stem from the initial push for advanced technology, 
and by mechanizing many of the processes, the leaps in communication, efficiency, and trade, the United States was brought out of the agricultural revolution land and into the industrial revolution.